there are a lot of new technologies that we are experimenting with and we see at the horizon. Of course, one is telepresence. It's continuously evolving, it's getting better, and it's enabling richer and richer interactions. The ability to interview a candidate and get to know that candidate really well while they're very far away from you through a very rich telepresence interaction. The ability to bring teams together and work as if they were in the same conference room while everybody is distributed is becoming a reality. So telepresence is a big factor in accelerating the distribution of work. Another uh, factor that we see very, very interesting, very, very new, but also very promising technology is the combination of telepresence and robotics. Uh, with robots, you are able to take a person and put them in lots of different places. You can create multiple avatars of yourself. You can start fractioning your time. So as an example, I can be a receptionist in five different lobbies. I can be a security guard in several different warehouses. I can be a building inspector or a technician inspecting machine rooms and engines in different places, um, all from one location very, very efficiently. And that's a very powerful new development of distributed work. I'll be able to hire a fraction of a person and be able to pay only for a certain amount of their time because that person, while working for me, is also able to work for three other companies. Very interesting development. Another huge development is machine learning. In our world, what really matters is the ability to create excellent matches, to facilitate instant access to great talent and instant access to great work and create really good matches. Machine learning enables us to study the patterns of how you like to hire. We learn about how um, you, you, you go about choosing workers for your team. Do you like people with a lot of experience? Do you look at the hourly rates? Do you look at the skills and the skills test? We learn these patterns so that when you come back to a platform that is supported by machine learning, the matches get increasingly better. Similarly, with machine learning, you can start analyzing performance of each worker on your distributed team. You can begin to see whether work is done on time, whether it's delivered according to specification, whether the communication is timely, and all of that information creates a better way to manage your distributed team and allows much better outcomes. And you can then connect machine learning to systems for social engineering to really facilitate better outcomes. And finally, we think that another big trend in technology is biometrics. One of the things that is really important when you hire workers and you have a team working on sensitive things like designing a new product or engineering a new piece of equipment, you really want to make sure you know who you're dealing with. You need to have complete and total trust in their identity and their background. And with biometrics, it will be increasingly possible to verify not just your identity at the beginning of the relationship, but your identity on an ongoing basis. Is that person, six months later, working remotely, still the same person? Am I still working with that person? Uh, so telepresence, robotics, machine learning, biometrics are big things on the horizon that are starting to happen and are going to be changing. And frankly, they're, they're not changing where it's going, but they're going to enable a lot more to be done with the distributed workforce. Well, first, we had a, a huge shift in our thinking, in the way we looked at the problem that we were trying to solve. In the very beginning, Elon's thought, the problem is to create a marketplace for services. What, what we were looking at is marketplaces like eBay and Amazon, and thought, what if we created the same thing for services, and thought that our mission was to create the largest marketplace for services. What we then realized is that that was actually not really the problem that needed to be solved. The problem that needed to be solved is how to enable instant access to great talent and how to facilitate remote work. And that led us to discover that the most important piece of our solution and what we needed to bring to market, and I think now what is widely recognized is the, is the, is the new way to think about the space, is the creation of a virtual workplace. Work has to happen somewhere. It has to happen through technology, collaboration, social engineering, measurement, to ensure really good outcomes. So the biggest change in our strategy has gone from focusing on making great matches to focusing on delivering really good outcomes, ensuring that the outcome is good, as opposed to just making a match and try to monetize that. A virtual workplace is the equivalent of our workplace today. Today, you and I are meeting in, in my office. We have tables, chairs. We have an environment with kitchens and bathrooms. Most of all, we have a pretty good understanding, implicit, developed over decades, that if I go to work for a company, I will get paid at the end of the month 
maybe every twice a month. Um, if I have a problem, I can go to my HR manager and complain about it. My managers will hopefully be very honest with me. I'll get good feedback. If I do great work, I'll get promoted. I call that the traditional workplace. At least there's a lot that happens in the traditional workplace. But what happens when that goes away and you move online and it's you? You're a business of one, you're an independent contractor, you're trying to make a living, you're creating your own career, you are connecting with people you've never worked with before, sometimes anywhere in the world. You may have clients in the US, but you may decide to work with somebody in Australia or in London. What do you do then? You need a virtual workplace. You need a structure that protects both sides, a structure that ensures good outcomes, that has policies that protect both parties, that has the tools for you to be productive, that ensures payment, for example, that payment is predictable and timely, where outcomes are guaranteed, those fundamental elements is what I call the new workplace, the virtual workplace.